Step five is to carry out a stratification check. This will tell you the highest height of rise of a plume that can be expected to occur in a building. If natural ventilators are being used in the reservoir, then they must be located significantly below the expected maximum, maximum height of rise of the smoke. If exhaust points are to be above this level, then mechanical extraction is required. When the temperature of the ambient air through which the plume is moving above the fire source is equal to or greater than the plume temperature, uh, due, for example, to solar or space heating of the volume concerned, then the plume will stop rising and will stratify. This is because it's lost its buoyancy relative to its warmer surroundings. In many cases, this situation will eventually be overcome as the fire continues to grow, but it can have significant consequences for the early detection of fire and can also have an effect on the, the ability of the, of the smoke to reach the vents. The maximum height of an axisymmetric plume against an ambient temperature gradient is shown here. A delta T divided by delta Z is the difference in temperatures between the top of the atrium and the base divided by the difference in height as shown here. Let's do an example with an axisymmetric plume. What is the maximum height of rise for an atrium with the following characteristics? The convective heat output of the fire is 2,500 kilowatts and delta, D, delta T divided by delta Z the temperature gradient is equal to 1.2 Kelvin per meter. What that means is that uh, for every meter that you ascend in the atrium, the temperature, the ambient temperature, will rise by 1.2 Kelvin. So if you ascend 10 meters within the atrium, the temperature will have increased by uh, 1.2 times 10, which equals 12 Kelvin. The equation gives us uh, these figures, Z max, which is the maximum height that, that smoke can be expected to, to attain, is equal to 5.54 times QP raised to the power 1 over 4 times the temperature gradient, delta T over delta Z, uh, raised to the power minus 3 over 8. In this case, this evaluates to be 36.6 metres. What this means is that smoke cannot be expected to rise to a height greater than 36.6 metres above the fire in such circumstances. Of the two issues that stratification brings about, that of delayed fire detection within an atrium can be overcome to some extent by providing appropriate smoke detection within the atrium, typically either beam or aspirating detection systems. The other issue of lack of buoyancy can be overcome by providing mechanical extraction fans where necessary. Now we want you to carry out a small number of exercises to demonstrate understanding of the subject and move on to the next step.